Who remembers Decca Records? I don't know the group or the song. Oh, come all ye faithful. I should have read again. It's a Christmas song, Christmas record. Jingle bells, look at that. Just be in your bedroom just to have her on. This is definitely a 70s album. Look at this. It's called The Music Box. I'm not sure who this group is. It doesn't say this. That's the name of the group. Who's this? Who's the lead singer here? Don't know him. Everybody knows this guy. Daytime friends. And I've never seen a record album like this. This is set up to look like a magazine, like a, oh, a paper. Extra, extra. Read all about it. UFO sighting sensation. Look at that. Oh, who's this guy? Who knows what that, who that guy is? Judges disqualify little million. Milton last minute. Rumpus. Now, is this a real paper? Jess Rotol, look at that. Is this a Jess Rotol album? Look, look at this magazine. British marriages and yes. small little he's a conquer right on the 70s mask machine gun see this has been going on for a long time you know they try to treat it like it's something new sandcastle man there's something interesting call it a day excuse me Excuse me. There's a sand castle. There's a sand castle. Can't see it very clear. Oh, well, I'm trying. All right. So, anyways, this is one. And now. This album, who is the album? Who makes this album? Ah, who remembers RCA? And who's on this album? Who do we have here? Kurtzy. Okay, look at them songs. Oh, shoot, you can't really read this. Anyways, how cool is that RCA Records? What a deal, huh? Okay, then we have Christmas with Tommy Doris Davis, Danny Davis. Look at that. Who remembers the Partridge family? Is that a classic or what? All right, now we're gonna go over here. Who knows? Everyone knows what this is. Cassettes. The Judds. Galloway in the park. Look, the Pink Panther. He remembers that. All right, who is this? All country hits. What a deal, huh? Patsy Klein. Look at that. Now, I got something for you. Best of Jim Reeves. Look at that. 
Come on through. Who knows what these are? What are these? Don't shoot me, Elton John. Wow. Three Dog Night. Who remembers this? Does this you feel dated? <laughs> and who knows? Look, that's a complete box full of these. What are these? I'm sure there are some young people that have no clue, have never seen these. They don't have a clue what these are right here. That's right. Come on. Okay, who is this? Well, it doesn't really say the another Elton John. Who is that? Uh, not sure. All right. So, anyways, I just thought I'd show this. What's on this three dog night here, anyway? Who remembers these songs? Okay, we have never been to Spain, celebrate, one, easy to be hard, mama told me, a mama told me, no, that's a different song, old-fashioned love song, one man band, try a little tenderness, who remembers these songs, three dog night. They're either wrong or they're right. Three dog. Now, who knows what these are? What is this? What is this? Look at this. What is that? All right. Can you tell me what this is? Oh, let's see. Smoking. Who's this? Smoking. Smoking. Somebody knows. This is Jeff there. Smoking. Who is this? UM Smoking. Can't quite make out the name on here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Smoking humble pie. Humble pie. Who remembers humble pie? Who remembers humble pie? Old time feeling. Thirty days in the hold. I remember. Don't remember the song. I remember it though. Road runner. And what's that? Roadrunner's Jam. All right. We got Humble Pie. Maybe you can Google it. No, YouTube it. Humble Pie, Three Dog Night, and listen to their music. They're either wrong or they're right. Okay, here's this album here. I have a funny feeling that this album don't belong in this because this says Jethro Tall. I'm thinking there should be a Jethro Tall album in this. And this was stuck in there to fill its slot. But uh, what's the date on this? There's not a date. It's not here. Probably a phony paper. 1972 January never seen anything like this never this may be worth a dollar or two I might just buy this even if the album is wrong look at this outfit <laughs> Boy, this, look at her fit. Here, she's got her uh, fishing outfit on. She's ready to go. Catch her some catfish or something. Hey, who's with us? I'm not sure who's here. On form. And plus, them out. Pull them out. At least. She, which, I guess she does have a fish on this line. You can barely see it. I'm not sure who's here, but I feel like there's another album in here, but I don't think so. Let me go through this. Uh, 
There's a car looks like it's from England or something. Oh, look at these guys. I don't know if this is a real newspaper or not. New, I don't know. It kind of looks like it. Maybe. It could be. I just don't know nothing about this. Well, it feels like there's an album in here. Oh, there is an album in here. Let's see. Let's see who this album is. I didn't know that there was. I felt like there was one in here. All right. Here we go. The big reveal. Thick as a brick. Just row tall. There she be. I'm buying this one. Look at that. He could jam. He back in the day he could he was one of the first rock and real rock and rollers for sure. How cool is that everybody? Uh, I don't really see. I'll have to find. I have a, a record player at home. I'll have to see if I can't get it working and see what this is. That's pretty cool. All right. Take you back in time. Trying to turn this around. Mystery tour. I can't really read that, unfortunately. There we go. Interesting. All right, well, thought I'd show that while I was in here. That that was a point of interest, it's something we don't see much anymore. And this album is actually in pretty good condition. Uh, just, I'm thinking it's a collector's item. But uh, if you look at the album, you know, the album is in really pretty decent shape. Somebody's taking pretty good care of it. No, you don't really see any needle slides or scratches, which is really impressive. Uh, most of these albums have all kinds of nicks and scratches on them. So how cool is that? All right. Who, who's, who's hanging out here with me? Who's hanging out here with me? Got to put this album back in its cover. Back in the sleeve. Uh, who's hanging out here? Hey, little dumpling. How's it going? I was just at your on your channel last night. Gave you some play, you know. I'm doing well. Thank you. I just stopped in this uh, thrift store and um, thought I would, they always have albums. I don't come in here too often, but and this was a nice find, something I didn't expect for sure. I'm trying to find uh, this cover where this album went in here. It's, Oh, it's right here. Here it is, right here. There we go. It still has a jacket. Look at this. It's, what does that say? I love... Yeah, they're, yeah, buried treasures, you know? Um, look at this. I've never seen one with all this kind of you know, records and advertisement on it. It says the big ball song book, all this different stuff. It still has a jet record jacket and it's still in good shape. Somebody really 
took good care of this. I'm wondering if they didn't pass and their stuff ended up here. That's why it's in such a good condition, you know? But um, this was a good find. I wasn't I wasn't coming in here to get anything. I'm just checking things out, you know? But uh yeah, it's something different for my channel, something. You know, I like old stuff. And the history that's involved in it. And uh you know, the music today it's not the sound just doesn't sound the same on these CDs. Just the record? One dollar. No, he wants a that box of DVD, I mean, that box of eight tracks back there desperately, but he needs you to give him an eight track player. That's right. I do sure. need an eight track player. Right now. So I'm gonna, do, you, do you take, uh, you don't take plastic? No. no. Cash I, I, I don't know if I have a dog. I don't know if I have any cash. Be in your bedroom, right? Yeah. Okay. You just get me when you can. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. Yes, baby. Get away in here, bro. Hey, I, there's uh, some there's some uh, things in here you're probably familiar with, haven't seen forever. You know, when's the last time you seen an eight-track tape? Jethro Ta, bro. This is from the '70s, '72. What a find at the thrift store, and it comes in this like this newspaper jacket. Um, I've never seen it ever in my life. I used to have some Jethro Tall albums back in the day. But uh, that was back in the day. I have a re record player. I have to see if I can't get it working. I haven't used it forever and ever. It's a little cheapy one. But if I could play this album, that would be cool. And I should be able to do it on my channel. I should be able to play this on my channel because I'm thinking it's out of copyright, right? There shouldn't be any copyright infringements with as old as this is, 72. Here, I'll show this to you for those that have just stopped in. I'm going to flip this camera around. Look. 1972. Jethro Tall. The album's in great shape. The, the paper jacket that it comes in is still pristine. Let me show you this. Let me open this up. I'll show you. I mean, what a find. And I know that I know I'm over here. Charge me a dollar. Look, the jacket is still pristine condition here. Um, look at this. Look at all this. Ordering form. Look at this. Toulouse, Leaders, Romans. Oh, Room 215, Warner. Uh, Enterprise Records. Ha! Ah, look at that. What a deal. The best, biggest bargains on record. The Warner Brother Reprise. Lost leaders, look, ha! Ah. Yeah, isn't that? This is this is like unbelievable. I've never seen nothing like this. And then on the other side, check this out. All these albums. I didn't want to pull it completely out. I just did though. Looney Tunes, look at that. Looney Tunes. Ah. How cool is that? Yeah. I'm jazzed. I'm jazzed. I'm, I'm glad I'm able to share that with, you know, my YouTube family, you know, YouTube friends. What a deal, you know? Uh, Almond Will, let's see who's this, Make It Wayne, 
I mean, well, copyright issues. Yeah, yes, there will be copyright issues, even though it's a 73, 72. I was hoping, you know, I could get my uh, turntable. I've got a little cheapy turntable. And I was hoping to, you know, be able to play this on my channel. Um, so who knows about copyright? Um, and Will, do you, do you know more, you know, you know quite a bit about the copyright stuff and music? Um, cause I would assume that the copyright law, you know, or the, um, copyright's good for so long. And you know, then you got to renew your copyright. Um, that's, I, but, so I don't know, you know, much more than that. That's basically what I know. So if anybody has information on uh, copyrights, especially on older music, you know, um, that's something I guess I need to find out about because I thought it would be cool to be able to play, you know, this album. I'm not even, she doesn't tell you the, what's on it even. Is he is somebody talking? Is he singing? Is he practicing? Is he in concert? It doesn't really say what's on this album. I mean, I've never seen one, not, not like this ever. And, uh, 72, you know, I had music from Jethro Tall, but nothing like this. This is quite different. Maybe it's something special. Who knows? I guess I got to do some research on it. Stop and do some research on this album. Almond says no. I'll make it win. On my video, uh, on my video, watch uh, something night after dark uh, got two copyright strikes really yeah, I don't want to do that what year was your music I think it has to go back to the 20s oh really that far back hey uh, frozen zero to homestead from zero to homestead thanks for dropping in thanks for being here um, well, I, huh, yeah, I got to do some research on that, on the copyright stuff, and I need to do research on what I just picked up here, this Jethro Tall album, Jethro Tall vinyl, right? Jethro Tall vinyl, his vinyl, <laughs> but uh, what a find, and the album is in, the, in great shape, you know, there's no skid marks. <laughs> across the record with the needle, you know? Remember those days? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm jazzed. But if somebody has, you know, some info on the copyright, and, but I need to find out. Um, they may have some information actually in the Creators Academy studio that I've talked about. Um, they have like 37 modules um, a free training um, here on YouTube and I have a link to that uh, on my we are creators FB live which is about six videos down I believe in the description um, you can YouTube providing free training so we can really have the top-notch channel and the knowledgeable and uh, it's the best kept secret because it's not something people are really talking about or making known. I've done a video on this where I, I read each module, um, all 37 of them, telling you what's in them and it's a, it's a real straightforward uh, test um, and then they give you a certificate when you're done when you complete the course. But it's something that everybody's talking about or making known, you know. It's like, if I know it, I'm not telling anybody about it kind of thing, you know. But uh, my channel is where it makes a difference. I, if I find out, if I learn about it, I'm telling you about it. You know, united we stand. And united we make it happen when we pull together, you know. And that's... Uh, why I do what I do on my channel, you know, I, 
I, I blow it, I blow the roof off of it, you know, I uncover as much as I can and make known as much as I can. Um, now, you know, obviously after some of the videos I'm going, oh, I should have said this and I should have said that and I should have explained this a little better or, you know, but uh, I don't have anything rehearsed, you know, I haven't written a script out, I just shoot from the hip and uh, go with it. And so later I'm going, ah, I could have added and should have said. And they created a in my live stream where I'm talking about we are creators. FB meaning Facebook. I have a Facebook page um, that's hashtag we are creators and I'm affiliate. You do not have to have 1K. Good evening, uh, survival. Um, uh, Dev, something I can't hardly make out your name here. I'm driving too, so it's really hard. I, well, thanks for being here from the UK, London, UK. Now, so you can become a YouTube, not a YouTube, an Amazon affiliate. You do not have to have 1K. Um, I have a link to that on this live stream I'm talking about. The hashtag we are creators FB. It's in the description. Um, affiliate program. If you're serious and you want to do that, I also have the phone number, but hit me up. And I'll give you the phone helping me get mine set up. Um, and you have to make like three sales in three months to maintain so that you don't lose your account. Now, if you don't make any sales, what stops you from buying purchasing yourself? I need to do a little bit more research. I know they just want three sales. So it don't matter as far as I know um, but you need to verify that nonetheless you can always and, and self back up again um, you know when you're ready the second time around and that's how it's worked that's how they have it set up right now um, is on affiliate program is in the we are creating FB and it's a live stream and that information to the Amazon affiliate is a link to the content, not content, the, I just went brain dead, to the creator of me. And like I say, they have like 37 modules, little tests. Um, quizzes that they give you and there's a wealth of information there they have little videos in the beginning that you can watch to kind of familiarize yourself with uh, what they're talking about because they want us to know and they're doing everything they can to make us know to know what they know to help us to have a better channel and function on YouTube professionally and uh, to give you a certificate when you finish a course and you do it at your own pace you know there's no rush and uh, this depends on how fast you want to get through the course you know and they do that certificate so then you get acknowledgement you know uh, but again it's like the best kept secret this YouTube uh, Creators Academy or Academy Creators all right but I have the link there and I have another video. It's down in my videos nowadays, uh, probably 100, 200 videos down, uh, where I'm reading all 37 modules and what's in those modules and what you're going to learn and walk away with um, with each module as you complete that course. It's free schooling, free education, um, so you can operate professionally and be knowledgeable during YouTube. I hope this information is useful. 
I guess after this live stream and I get home, I can put that link in here as well. I'm sitting here talking about it. I guess I might as well put the link in the description when I'm able here. And once I get home, um, stop and I'll do that. And uh, then if you have any questions about it, um, you know, come back, hit me up in the comments. And I'm more than happy to share with you with what I know about it. Um, so that's the Amazon affiliate program and the Creators Academy uh, training that they have available. Um, it's something nobody's really sharing or talking about. You know, it's like knowledge is power, and some people aren't sharing that. But again, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm that guy. I'm not that guy. Know, I can share it with you and help you out. That's what it's all about. Because that's where I'm coming from. You know, it's not about me. It's about we. You know, it's about us. United we stand. United we make it happen. And uh, we got to stick together to do that. Have a good one, brother. Leaving work. Well, thanks for dropping in and for hanging out. If you're interested in the Amazon affiliate program or this training course here on YouTube uh, come back I'll have it in the description here probably within the hour and uh, if you have any questions feel free and I have a phone number but you're gonna have to come back leave me a comment letting me know you want that phone number for the creators not for the creators for the Amazon affiliate program I guess you want to do that all right, so remember, united we stand, united we make it happen. You know, we can help pull one another up, help one another move forward. Very cool. I was watching, wondering about that uh, channel and review already. No, well, that's separate. Amazon's affiliate program is totally separate. And the Amazon affiliate program, you do not have to have 1K. And that's something that not everybody knows. Um, nobody talking about it, you know? And it's a little frustrating to me, you know? I give away everything I get, I give it away to help, to help you out, you know? You're welcome. Now, if you have any questions about it, um, hit me up in the comments after the live stream and uh, here within within the hour I will have those links in the description as well and when you set up your Amazon affiliate account and they and you get your links for whatever it is you want to promote to sell uh, a person can go to that link and look at the item that the link's connected to, whether it's a lens for a camera, clothing, food. They sell food on Amazon. You can buy vegetables and you name it. Uh, but nonetheless, whatever a person, whatever the link is to, at the top of the page, there's a search box. You can put, they can go up to the top of the page and put whatever they're looking for or needing at the time and they can put it in the search box at the top of the page since they're on the Amazon website then it will take them to that item or items they're looking for and they can purchase that and you'll still get credit when that happens and uh, so it just making that making people aware of this you know that they can take your link go to the top of the page and then search for whatever else it is they're looking for. It doesn't have to be what they what what you put down. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Okay, uh, well, do bro. Have a good one. All right, you too. Thanks for being here. Catch you on the rebound. And uh, remember, united we stand, united we're making it happen and never give up because there's always a way. And that's for real. All right.
So, does anybody have any questions about the Amazon affiliate program or any questions about this YouTube in 2019? It's going to change. They're going to improve it, add some things to it. Um, so now is a good time to get into the YouTube um, Creators Academy because um, you'll be in before they do the changing and updating. Um, now's a good time. Like maybe I should do a live stream on that, just on that alone. Um, and I guess I should probably get busy here and make that happen uh, real soon. Uh, sure. Um, there's little dumplings still here, and there's a there's iron will or, or almond will. Oh, uh, uh, back to oh, that's right. All right, I just read that. I'm just trying to go back and read the screen. I'll have a minute to do that on this road I'm on. I can do that. Oh, you didn't see after the... Hey, left the record albums. I went over and showed these eight tracks. I went over and showed these eight tracks. There was a there was an eight track case. Um that they designed for eight tracks and it was completely full of these eight tracks um, I bet if you had an eight track player you could play them uh, they still uh, they still looked like they were in decent shape good enough to play but so you have to go back and you know do a playback to see them I spent a few minutes there you know it's not like I showed you it and went somewhere else um, so you'll see it. It's right after showing you the record albums on the rack. Uh, RCA Records, Victor Records, you know, those are some pictures for it. Goes way back to like the real thick original, uh, what is it, 22 speed, I think it is. The Vic, uh, what is it, 22 speed, I think it is. The Victors. Uh, no, no, no. No, Victor's were, was that 38? I think it was 38. Yeah, because they played faster. And then they changed it a bit, and you had these. They had played a little slower. Yeah, no, 78, that's what it was. Victor albums, the original ones were real thick, and they were 78s. And they played really fast uh, back in the day. Something this generation don't know about. And uh, then you had the 45 or the 45s, little little ones, singles. Uh, really cool stuff. And it's just real tall album. That's a good find. It's a prize, you know. Nice if it's worth a few bucks, that would be cool. So I gotta do my research on this Death Road Tall album. But alright, I'm not sure who's still here hanging out. I'm, is that little dumpling that's still here? Or is it almond bell? I don't even know at, the, at this point. I appreciate you being here for hanging out here with me. It uh, means a lot. And uh, I'm going to have to let this replay, I mean, upload. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Thank you for your time. I uh, appreciate that very much.
And remember, united we stand, you know, helping one another out, supporting one another, watching videos, commenting, watching a whole video, you know. Like I say, sometimes, you know, if it's a long, you know, I'll relax and I'll let it play. Brush my teeth, I'll play, you know. Uh, while I'm eating dinner, I'll let it play, you know. We just got to be creative because um, I know there are people watching all the way through on my videos. Yet when it sees the when it shows me their average minutes, two minutes, six, eight, ten minutes sometimes. Um, but the people that are watching it and beginning to end, it doesn't even show up. It doesn't even tell me that. Um, and you know, a lot of times we, everybody's barely watching our video watching our videos for five say it's a 30 minute video an hour video that's what you see you don't see that you've got people that have actually played it all the way through maybe they really liked it maybe they did a playback maybe they've watched it several times you know that doesn't show up um and so as much as we're able to uh let somebody's video play all you know, so all watch time is good. All watch time is good. All watch time is good. A large video play, you got to be creative. You know? uh, uh, so, all right, maybe put it on the big screen on your television, you know. That's always fun. Uh, all right, I'm out of here. I'm rambling. Thanks for tuning in. And I may catch you later on the rebound. I'm not sure. And I may catch you later on the rebound. I'm not sure. So bye for now. God bless. Take care. And never give up. And if you need to brainstorm for your channel, hit me up. So bye for now and God bless. Bye.